And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and we have the first ever benchmarks of the GTX 1070 Ti that have leaked out via the Ashes of the Singularity database. Now, while this isn't a particularly good metric or indicator of overall gaming performance by any means, it does show that the company is gearing up for the launch soon, and the final testing is underway. And we've taken a screenshot in case the benches get pulled down like they usually do, and that'll be hosted over there on the article linked in the description description below or above if you're over on Facebook. So it looks like the GTX 1070 Ti gets an overall score of 6200, which is an acceptable score for the GTX 1070 successor. And we have seen some highly overclocked 1070s reach this range, but we've also seen lower clock GTX 1080s reach this range as well. All in all, it looks like Nvidia will finally be plugging the hole that the Vega 56 is sure to carve out in its lineup. The most impressive thing, however, is that the average frame rate in the normal batch is at an all-time high. This is actually faster than all of the GTX 1070s and many of the GTX 1080s and goes on to show the potential of this card could have once performance tuning is complete. Now just to recap, the GTX 1070 utilizes Nvidia's GP104 GPU, specifically the GP104-300 variant. While the maxed out GP104 has a total of 20 SMs, the GP104-300 variant is only 19. Basically, these are chips that are originally meant for a full-fledged GTX 1080 Ti, but had one dysfunctional SM due to yield and were therefore repurposed into 1070 Ti. This chip features 7.2 billion transistors and has a 314 millimeter square die for a total of 2432 CUDA cores. The 1070 Ti houses a total of 152 TMUs, 64 ROPs, and 8 gigabytes of GDDR5, which is another difference between it and the 1080, which uses G5X. The memory is locked at 8 gigabytes for a total bandwidth of 256 gigabytes per second. Now, there's been rumors that this card will not be overclockable, but word on the grapevine is that the clocks on this card are maintained at 1607 base with a 1683 boost, and this would result in a maximum compute performance of 8.1 teraflops at the given specifications. Now most of Nvidia's GPUs usually boost far higher than the rated turbo spec, but if this is true, it is possible that what you read is what you will get from the GTX 1070 Ti, with no dynamic boosting occurring over the rated spec. Now such a restriction could almost certainly have to be enforced by software, one that would be presumably make sure that the sales of the GTX 1080 aren't cannibalized, and that it would be an interesting to see whether anyone is able to bypass this un or unlock this feature to see the full potential of the card, which should be able to stretch its legs up to 9 teraflops. Now not only that, but Nvidia will not be launching any reference designs of this card, so it'll be only aftermarket cards, and the rumored GPU will be launching rumored and allegedly, of course, on the 26th of October. Now, that's a few weeks' time, so reporting retail is $429. So, well, you know, time will tell. So, this has been Keith the WCCF Tech TV. If you found the video entertaining or informative at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video.